What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be making a video about the Bruce firmware themes. How to create your own personal themes, how to make live themes, how to make static themes. But the whole purpose of this video is I want to give you the tools and the skills necessary to help customize some of your tools to make them a little bit more personal. Now, if you don't want to make your own custom themes, I've already created themes for the Bruce community for free. Um, I have a Proton Drive, a community drive, where you can download them for free. And I, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and show you some of the ones I made for the community. So you grab it, download it to your device, and be ready to go. I'm also going to show you how to use the Bruce Theme Builder in this video. Um, it's the easiest way to create themes, but if you want to get a more personal touch and have it uh, look better on the device. So you don't want to have any weird borders or anything like that I'm gonna show you how to customize the right size for your device to make sure your theme looks amazing I'm gonna show you how to use AI to create your custom images how to create custom videos Which you're gonna turn into gifts which you're gonna resize them to fit the device and compress them to make them work smoothly I'm also gonna show you how to make custom boot videos and boot sounds all right, I'm going to show you the easiest way first. So if you just want to download a theme and go on your way, this is for you. So you're going to go on the Bruce website. You're going to get to this page. I'm going to leave a link in the description. You're going to see all the themes the community has built. So here's my theme. Uh, this is my entry in the contest. This is the second place winner here. Uh, if you click on my theme or anybody's theme in the community, you get a little download button to the left. You hit the download button, you get the exact file you need to install this theme on your device. Then all you have to do is upload this to an SD card or send it to your device over the air. And once it's on your device, you go over to config, go down to UI theme, SD card, scroll down and pick whatever theme that you want. I mean, I got a whole bunch saved to my device, so I'm just gonna go pick a random one right now. All right, then you're gonna click on it. You're gonna click on JSON file and boom, it will boot into the theme. So this is the easiest way to do it. You, uh, just go to either the Bruce website or go to my Proton Drive and grab a free theme. Now from experience, I would rather you use an SD card for this. So whatever device that supports an SD card, pop out the SD card, download the theme to the SD card, and then pop it back in to the device and then boot it off that way. If you try doing over the web UI, it crashes constantly, especially if you're doing the bigger files, like the GIF files that you just saw. I highly recommend, again, save yourself the time and aggravation. Just use the SD card way. So you're looking at the boot wave file. So this one says safety is an illusion. So what you can do here is take an MP3 file, convert it into a wave file, and whatever that little snippet is, it would actually play it before your device boots up. Just save it to the SD card or save it to the device itself. Make sure it says boot.wave. Safety is an illusion. So if you want a custom boot screen, basically you just put a GIF and you label it boot.gif and you save it to the device. So for example, there's my uh, loading screen there. You're going to find the GIF file that you've saved to your computer. And you're going to copy it and just paste it to your SD card. And boom, now it's on your device. And make sure it just says boot GIF and boot wave for it to actually boot into it. So if you want to make your own, I recommend going to this website, get your video clip, uh, upload the video clip, and you turn this video clip into a GIF convert it into a GIF. Once it's a GIF, you're gonna to wanna to resize it for, I know uh, the TM bed by heart, so 320 by 170 is the dimensions. Then you're gonna resize the GIF so it fits the device. And then I usually optimize it to compress it a little bit and make the file size a little smaller. And after that, you just save it. Then take Lizard. your GIF file and Lizard. upload it to your Lizard. device. Lizard. So if you're gonna make your own images, this is how you're gonna do it. So you're gonna prompt it. So what you're gonna to need to do is get an AI that you're comfortable with. I'm using ChatGPT here to create a prompt. I'm, I'm gonna cut and paste into another AI that's good at making custom images. What you're gonna do is come up with some kind of design. You're going to get the AI to make a prompt for you. Take that prompt, paste it into the other AI that's gonna create the image for you. And what you're gonna do is go back to the original AI that wrote the prompt for you and say, hey, this time I want you to make the same theme, same everything, but this time make the Bluetooth icon. This time do the IR icon and go through it. So it takes a lot of time to do this, but you're gonna have to go through every single one, every single option on the Bruce firmware. And you can always check back by using the Bruce theme builder. You need to use it anyway in a second, but it's good to help keep your place. So I like, I know the Wi-Fi is next, Bluetooth's next, etc. So keep it open just so uh, you know what image you need to work on next. And you're gonna have to do this process for every single icon. And after you're done with that, make sure all the files that you have, the image files or PNG files, they're JPEG or any other type of file type, it doesn't work right. 
Um, so make sure they're PNG files. If you need to convert them, have AI convert it for you or find some kind of converter for the file. Don't worry about sizing this time around because the Bruce theme builder will take care of all the sizing stuff for you. It will compile everything into a folder and that folder will contain a JSON file as well as the images that you just made but resized. In that, it's going, all that JSON file does is tell the device, hey, if he's, this person's on the Wi-Fi option, show this image. If you're on the Bluetooth option, show this image. It just basically directs the device. This is the file we're going to need to manipulate later to get those custom live animated themes to work. All right, so now that you created all your images and you already converted them to a PNG file, now it's time to put them into the Bruce theme builder. So you see here, here's the Bruce theme builder. I'm gonna click on the Wi-Fi one. I'm gonna fill it in with the Wi-Fi icon image that I created. And you're gonna repeat this step over until you fill in everything. Also note, while you're on here, you can also change the primary and secondary color. So when you actually click on an icon on the option, you'll see the text will be in two different colors and that's what you're gonna see here. So you can also just match the colors from the images. That's what I do for mine. So go ahead and highlight, use that little color finder, pick your colors, primary, secondary. I usually leave the background black, that's up to you. And then you have options to have borders and uh, labels i just i uncheck those so this way i get the full image and uh, it gives you a bunch of devices to pick from but i just do all devices so it gives you options for sizes and uh, if you really want to customize the right fit you have to go in to every single photo file and uh, actually size it correctly to whatever device you have it's very time consuming so if you want to just do it this way this is probably better for you if you want to save time but if you're someone like me that likes to make sure it fits better just google any type of image resizer and just use that and make correct size for your device but that means you have to set up the configuration file the json file yourself and i'll show you how to set up the folder and the json file at the, the last part of this video after when we start talking about the video stuff but right now i'm going to show you how to how to send the file and how to send files using the web ui now you gotta set up the connection. You're gonna go on your device and click on files, click on web UI, click on AP mode, and just let the screen run. And then you're gonna go to, uh, back to your computer and you're gonna connect to it over a Wi Fi connection with the password admin that's on the screen. And you're gonna look at this screen right here. And once you make a connection with your Bruce device, you're gonna need to go to the browser and type in the IP address shown. And then you'll be able to see and access the web UI. Once you're in the web UI, you can send files. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how I send the, the theme folder as well as the boot image. This is also where you can put the uh, boot audio as well if you want to send it over this way. Again, I prefer putting everything to the SD card and just plugging it into the device itself. I think it's better and faster. But if you want to do it this way, you can. Um, you're going to see me grab the uh, boot image, a uh, GIF file. I'm going to send it to the device over the web UI and I rename it to boot because if we don't it's not going to do anything and it looks for a uh, boot image it's called boot.gif so make sure it's labeled boot.gif all right now for the hard part this is how you do the live animated theme the same thing we did earlier with the images you're going to be creating video prompts this time and every time that you create a new icon video you just tell the ai now i want a bluetooth one now i want an ir one now this isn't free. 90% of these text to video AI creation tools cost money. All the ones I've done cost money. So just keep that in mind. So after you're done making the video, we're gonna go back to that site. We're going to turn the video into a GIF. Then you're gonna find the download. You're going to upload it to this site. Click on upload. Now you're gonna convert the video into a GIF. Once you're done with that, you're going to resize it to the appropriate size for your device. For again, TMBED is 320 by 170. Resize the image. And once you're done with that, I usually optimize it. This is just going to compress it a little bit to make the file size a little smaller. As you see here, it's 2.7 megabytes. Once I do this little bit of uh, compression, it brings it down to 1.2 megabytes, which is a little bit easier to send files when they're smaller. And uh, there you go. So now that we did that, now that slide that icon is done now we got to repeat that step for every single icon when you're done creating every single icon after you've done went through all of that you need to create the json file so the json file you can take from an old file and manipulate it into a new one um, you can download one of my old ones or one the way i made my json file is just it's labeled wi-fi.gif or bluetooth.gif so I can basically reuse my JSON file for every single project I do, if, as long as I name the files the same names. And you can make sure that everything's in the same folder. This is how it's supposed to look like, your JSON file and all your GIF images within the same exact folder. And this is the folder you're going to transfer to your device. 
once you're done uploading it, either through the SD card, which I recommend, or the web UI, you go ahead through your settings, click on the theme, click on that JSON file, and there you go. Now, if you did this and you see a couple blank icon screens or it's just black, it's probably because you labeled the file wrong. It doesn't match the JSON file or you have the wrong file type. So make sure you look into that. It's either GIF or PNG. That's how it works. Also, if you make some custom boot images and it doesn't look correct, you might have to manipulate some of the frames, either add some frames, duplicate frames, or take away frames to get the image to look a little bit better. There's no real rhyme or reason to it, but for me, I had to just sit there for hours just playing with it. Add a frame, take a frame away. So it, it's a lot of work, but it is worth it at the end. I think it looks really great having these animated themes. And now you guys know how to do it and how I do it. Now, if you guys want to support me, I currently have a fundraiser going on right now. I'm trying to raise some money to get the Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager. Um, we're going to be doing a, a kill USB event like we've done in the past. Um, basically, I take a whole bunch of old devices that are no longer good. Um, and we fry them live with this special USB that kills devices that sends a devastating shock and just fries it. There's a live stream of it still, so if you're curious on how that stream went and how much fun it was, go ahead and check it out. But thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helps you customize your devices. I think it's really cool having your own custom feel. I'm also working with uh, my good buddy Tron to help come up with really cool case ideas. So we have really cool themes as well as really cool cases to really personalize your device. I also want to give a shout out to Cherry Tomato. He's the one that helped me understand how the JSON file works. So he taught me, and now I'm teaching you. So that's how the community works. So go ahead and check out those guys. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment sections what you're going to be making. And do me a favor and remember that safety is an illusion.